Hey everybody, I'm Zachary Bell, and I'll be giving you a tutorial or a little help on using Cam Studio and setting up your audio and uh, settings and your microphone and speakers and all that stuff to record correctly, especially when doing like Minecraft videos or other little tutorials. Um, I'll put a little link in the, the description for uh, Cam Studio so you can download it because obviously that's required to, to to go through this process and. So, I watched a couple tutorials on how to set up your audio settings and stuff, and none of them were really helping. And one kind of got me close, or at least let me understand what was working or what was happening. And so now I finally figured it out. And so now I'm going to help you set up so your internal uh, computer speakers are going to be able to record through Camp Studio. And they're also, and people will also be able to hear your voice on your mic, in my case my little Logic mic, at the exact same time. Now we Camp Studio can pick it up at the same time and people will be able to hear everything. So we're going to go ahead and get you through the process. So first you want to do is you want to go down to the right hand corner over here to little volume settings. And you want to right click and go to recording devices. Um, once you get to recording devices you'll see that my microphone has volume going up here. The first thing you want to do though is you want to go to playback. And you want to right click this little uh, white area here. If you don't see all these speakers and you're, you're plugged in head headset or your internal mic, if, if that'll work, I can't guarantee the internal or built-in mic will work though. But once you right click in this white area, make sure there's a check mark next to show disabled devices and a check mark next to show disconnected devices. Once that's done, all your stuff should be showing up. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your speakers, your internal built-in speakers are default device. If they are not, so let me change this real quick so I can show you. Um, say your Logitech microphone or whatever microphone you have is the default device. You want to go to these speakers here and you want to right click and click set as default device. So right click your internal speakers and click set as default device. So that should change that to default device here. You see a little green check mark. And this once again is in Windows 7. Um, the speakers, uh, like your Logitech, that's okay if it stays the default uh, communication device. So once that's all done, you want to click on make sure speakers are selected and click properties at the bottom right hand corner of this menu. Now that's your general thing, not really important. Next you want to go to the second tab, levels. Uh, you want to make sure the output is all good for the for the speakers. It should be loud enough on mine. The microphone should be plenty loud. You can play with the balance and make a left and right change. Just make sure these aren't muted. Make sure they don't have Make sure they don't have the little red mark over it. Um, you can ignore enhancements or any other tabs except for the advanced tab. Go to the advanced tab and click on default format, or make sure to look at default format. Um, you want to click on the drop down thing and you want to go, you want to make sure you click either 16 or 24 bit at 44,100 uh, hertz. If you go any higher, there could be some issues in recording or people hearing you talk at the same time while they're doing other stuff or playing other stuff. So that's the highest you want to go. You want to click on 24-bit, 44,100 hertz. And you can click the test button if you want. And you'll hear the little pretty little sound from left and right. And once you've done that, you can click OK. You'll be done with that. The next thing you want to do is go to recording. And you want to, make, once again, make sure there's a check mark next to disabled, show disabled devices and show disconnected devices. So once you've made sure there's a check mark next to show disabled devices and show disconnected devices, you should see your plugged in microphone, your internal microphone, and a stereo mix uh, setting or whatever you want to thing. Uh, so once again, you want to make sure, or in this case, you want to make sure your microphone, your plugged in, in my case, a Logitech microphone, is the default device. Once again, you see the, the green check mark. If you want to change it, you can right click it and set default device. Um, I can't guarantee the internal microphone will work, so you'll have to try that yourself. But in my case, I had to make sure my plugged-in Logitech microphone is set as a default device. Make sure uh, that's selected, and then click Properties. Once again, the, the, this is your little general thing. It's not really important. You don't have to well, pay attention to Listen or any of the other tabs. Just go to Volumes, or Levels, sorry, and make sure the microphone is set to the correct level. And this is what people are actually going to hear this is the level of like me speaking right now so I can change it down it's going to get it got quiet I can change it up probably got much louder so back to 70 that seemed to work for me 
Um, and once again, make sure there isn't no little red, there is no little red tab or mark or whatever on this red or on this uh, button right here. Once you've done that, go to advanced and go to default format. Uh, you're looking at default format. Once again, you want to open the little drop-down menu, and the highest in my case I can choose is one channel 16-bit, or the highest I can choose is one channel 16-bit, 44,100 44, hertz. Um, you can you can go higher, but once again, it could cause issues or whatever. If you have a 24-bit or two-channel, that's okay. Just make sure you don't go any higher than 44,000 44,000 hertz. Um, once you've done all that, you can click OK. Um, and you're pretty good there. Um, so you can close all this out, you can click OK again. That's all your audio settings uh, fixed. Some issues recording Cam Studio itself. So I have some print screens that I'm going to bring up in a second and you guys can look at those so it'll walk you through the process. So this is the last thing you're going to end up doing. Uh, you're going to open up Cam Studio, you're going to double click up here. Like I said, these are all print screens because I could not can't record Cam Studio itself. It wouldn't give me that option. So double click Cam Studio. It's going to pop up this little box right here without this drop down. And you want to move your mouse over to Options, and you want to uh, move it down here. And you want to make sure there's a check mark next to Record Audio from Microphone. And this is going to record audio from whatever microphone you're about to choose. So once there's a check mark next to that, you're going to uh, bring your mouse down to Audio Options, hover over it, and then slide it over to Audio Options for Microphone. Click on that. That's going to open this this little window here, and you're going to click on this drop down, and it's going to give you all the options of your different microphones. And in my case, I had to choose my Logitech microphone, which is highlighted right here, because that's what I just set in the audio settings is everything I need to work out as the default device. So that's what Cam Studio is going to record. Um, once you choose that, it's going to it'll move the drop down menu, and then you come down to recording format here, and click on that drop down menu. And in my case, the highest I can choose, uh, the only option it gives me is 44.1 kilohertz uh, stereo at 16-bit. And you, that's, again, the highest you really want to choose. If you can even go higher, I don't believe you can, though, is the 44,100 uh, hertz range. So once you've clicked on that, you can click OK here, and it'll bring you back, um, bring you back to the main Cam Studio window right here. Once you've done that, you want to click on Options again, bring down that drop-down menu, and then click Video Options right here. Um, once you click Video Options, it's going to bring you to this or this window, Video Options. And then you want to click down, click on the drop-down menu, and you want to choose whatever uh, video format you see or want or whatever works best for you. I haven't found which one actually records with the best quality yet, um, so I just keep with the default Microsoft Video One in my case. Um, and I, for some reason, my drop down do not have the Cam Studio uh, lossless or looseless Kodak, so I can't even try that one because they claim that one's the best. But I, I don't know why. But this one seems to work fine for me. So next, once you have your your uh, format you want, you go down to quality and move it up to 100% or 100. Uh, if you're doing games or whatever, and your frame rate, if you're recording games and your frame rate is dropping real bad or it's getting really glitchy, you can move it down a little bit. Uh, you, don't, you don't want to go too far because the quality will definitely go down. It'll be really grainy and stuff, but it shouldn't help with the jumpiness of the, the game. So once you've done that, you can click OK. And once again, go back to the default. It'll bring you back to the default window. And then you want to roll over or scroll over, move your mouse over region, bring you this little drop down. And if you're recording games, or in my case, this just entire my entire screen, you want to click on full screen, it makes things much easier and that way it'll record your entire desktop here. Um, once you've done all that, uh, you're pretty much done. You can set up your shortcuts if you want in options, your keyboard shortcuts at the bottom of the option menu, and but that's completely up to you. And then you can start recording and you should be good. It should record everything. If you guys have any uh, questions or concerns or need help with anything, don't be afraid to post in the comments and I'll see if I can help you guys out. Um, thank you very, thank you very much for watching today and have a great day.